Hey everybody, welcome back to the At Dad Can Learn channel. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today than I usually do. This has nothing to do with Minecraft or one of the most absurd things in automobile maintenance is how much it costs to change out a battery in your key fob. Now, ordinarily, these batteries will last the, the lifetime of how most people keep their cars, you know, two and a half, three years. But if you decide to keep it longer than that, um, or if you use it quite often, then uh, you might see your your battery die. Take it to the dealership, cost you 150 bucks, 200 bucks, depending on where you go, um, and that's absurd. I'm going to show you all how to do it for about $7 for both fobs, for two fobs. Um, I'll put some links to the to the items I'm talking about down in the description, but... That's all we're looking for. It's an Energizer is, is the brand I got. Make sure you get lithium. But that also means that when you go to dispose of your other one, make sure you dispose of it properly because it is lithium. Um, but it's the CR2032. Charlie Romeo 2032. Just one of the little button batteries. With your fob, no special tools are required. You pop it out, your little valet key. In between those two little dots right there, jut outs, whatever we're calling it, you stick the key in and you turn it. Opens it up just like that. Then from here, still no special tools required. You stick your finger in and you pop out the battery. Grab your replacement battery, stick it back in, make sure your positive is up. Anytime you use a button battery, most of the time, you're going to be looking at the positive side. You get your fob, put it back together. It should click all together nice and easy. Now, it may happen to where the little uh, the, the mechanism inside pops out a little bit. So you want to make sure that your buttons are all still in the same order and they're correct. And then you hear that clap, and you're done. Test it out. I can hear the, the beep outside of my window. Stick your valet key back in. It's done. So I did this twice. I did it for both key fobs for this Honda HRV. It's the same whether it's an HRV, a CRV, um, an Accord, a Civic. They're all the same functionality. Don't drop it in water. Don't get it dirty inside. You know, all that good stuff. But it takes very little effort. Um, like I said, there's going to be some links below to the, the items that you would need, mainly the batteries. Appreciate y'all hanging out. See you next time.